okay so now we are going to see some questions which is related to what we have seen so we have seen the days of the weeks and the months of the year okay so the question is also related to that okay see here you wake up to go to school in the dash so if you if you are yeah yes you are wake up in on a on the what and going to school so let's see the options evening night morning and afternoon on which you are going to school so you are going to school on a evening night morning or afternoon we are going to school on the morning isn't it so the answer is a morning okay so what next afternoon afternoon what is the activity we will do usually usually we have a lunch on a afternoon isn't it children we usually we have a lunch on a afternoon okay so in a night in the evening what the activity we will do we will some some pe uh, students will play on the evening some classes they will conduct uh, some uh, playing classes will they go and some students will have their uh, evening snacks or uh, evening homework is it we all we, we all do the evening activities like uh, eating snacks and doing homework on a uh, evenings okay so what is the activity we will do in a night only one sincere activity what is that sleeping isn't it so you should be go early to the sleep isn't it children yes so that activity we will do on a night so these are the activity we will do so that is the, the according to the morning afternoon we are performing some actions we keeping some uh, schedule morning you should be go to the school isn't it afternoon you should eat the lunch evening you do the some homeworks and play and at night you should sleep uh, see we having a certain activity on a certain um, on a uh, uh, like a morning and afternoon okay so next second question how many days are there in a two weeks the so you should be very clear about the question okay you should be very clear about the question children so don't get be confused how many days or there in a two weeks in a two weeks what is i told you in a one week one week how many days if you don't know just uh, leave the finger and say the days of a week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday how many days seven days isn't it seven days one week is equal to seven days so what they are asking two weeks up a two weeks means if we add a one more week the one more seven days if we add two seven you will get a 14 so with the 14 is the answer so you should be very clear with the questions uh, asking at one week or two week or three week okay so one week is equal to seven if you put two week means if you add two seven you will get the answer for a two week for three week means if you add a three seven you will get a three week answer for a three week so that is a second question so third question see that if today is a thursday listen carefully children if you are watching the video it may be any day you are watching a video like a sunday or tuesday it may be any day but just assume or just imagine today is a thursday then day before yesterday was dash day before yesterday means see Today is a Thursday. Today means now. Now I am taking a class on a Thursday. Yesterday, what is the day? Yesterday means one day back. One day back. One day back. What is that? So I am just writing the days of the week and I will tell you. Then only you feel be very easy to get understand. Okay. So how many days in a week? Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Isn't it? These are the days of the week. So what they are telling if today is the Thursday. Thursday is a today. Today I am taking a class on a Thursday. So what yesterday? My yesterday is a Wednesday. Isn't it? My yesterday is a Wednesday. On Thursday, I am taking a class now. Today is a Thursday. Yesterday means day before. One day back. One day back means this is a Wednesday. One day back means a Wednesday. So what here asking? Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday means before yesterday. What is a day? Tuesday. This is a day before yesterday. Tuesday. So Tuesday is the correct answer. You will surely you will get confused. I know that. 
once more i will tell you don't get confused okay so now i am taking a class just imagine that you can watch it on a sunday saturday or monday anything anything real a day no problem just leave that just imagine that you are watching my video on a thursday thursday now we are watching on a thursday that is a today isn't it yes now the present day is a today the day before today so today is thursday means one day back means that is we used to say yesterday but the question is what they are not asking a yesterday date they are asking a day before before yesterday so one day yesterday before what is a day tuesday so that is the answer the what you are action performing now it is called a today that you have performed one more to, uh, before today that is called yesterday day before means one day before than yesterday if you are they are asking about monday means you can say a uh, two day before and yesterday you can also say like that okay fourth question in a year october has a dash days yes of course you all get confused isn't it i didn't uh, in uh, tell you how many uh, day, uh, days in a month i've told you only a week have a seven days and a month have a 12 months i didn't mention anything about the how many days in a month so every month you cannot have a same days or a same number of um, uh or days is like a uh, 30 or 31 and sometimes a uh, 28 also you have it or sometimes you have a 27 days also so we will uh, how many days of a month so this is the uh, so question is here so how many days in a october month so what i told you every month is not the same days and same day will be have it isn't it so there will be a different so how to check how to uh, find out in which month have a, how many days i will tell you very clearly just listen it i'm just rubbing this i hope that you all understand the first question so how many days in a week there are seven days in a week isn't it okay so one month in a one month how many days one month in some month there will be a 30 or a 31 days so how you find which month have a 30 days and which month have a 31 days means just use your finger so use your hands use it by using your hands back side of a hand you can easily find it out which months have a 30 or a 31 just keep it like this giving a like this is so they be giving a like this we have said so done isn't it so you just keep your hand like this and you have a two type of portions one is a like what is that it's a a portion like on a higher and lower isn't it like in a high low high low high low so you have a different you just don't take your thumb finger okay don't consider the thumb finger only from a four finger see him high low high low high low high low isn't it so this is the what you are the, from using this you are going to find it out the whether the months have a 30 or 31 days yes so january february march april may june july august september october november and december so the months which comes on a higher then it is a 31 days because high means is the greater when the months will come on a lower portion you will have a 30 days so by using your hands you have to be find it out whether the october months have a 30 days or a 31 days okay so here are only one correction for a second month what is a second month what is the second month of the year february is a second month isn't it so february is the second month of the year january 31 days february means 30 days but none of the february will have a 30 or a 31 days the february will have a 27 or a 28 days only okay so the second month is a february so the january you have a 31 and a february of course you should have a 30 days but february none of the february you will have a 
30 or a 31 days. The February always have a 28 or a 29 days. Okay, so why means uh, uh, why the 28 and 29 means uh, 29 will have in your leap year alone. And in a leap year only you will have a 29 days. Remaining years you will have a 28 days. In February you have a 28 or 29 days. But 29 when, when which year you have a 29 days in a February? Only in a leap year only in a leap year you will have a 29 days in a february remaining year you will have a generally 28 days in a february so what does mean by leap year how i am going to find it out this year is in a leap year means it's not a very big process but if it is maybe some students will uh, feel a very tough to understand although i am just explaining what is a leap year so for example what is a year now 2022 means if it is divisible by 2 then we usually say it's a leap year when it is when the year is not divisible by 2 then we used to say as a non leap year non leap year okay so the second month of the february 28 or 29 days will be there so if you if you have leave the february the remaining will be the same march 31 april 30 so this is the procedure so using these procedure you are going to find it out in a year in a sorry october in a year october how many days in a october months okay one more time i'm just uh, just revising there are in a one week one week is equal to seven days seven days one year is equal to 12 months isn't it so one month in one month how many days will be there 30 or a 31 days will be there how to find it out which months have a 30 or 31 by using the small technique i have to, uh, taught you by using that you can easily tell come to the point but the second month of the february there will be only a 28 or a 29 days when the 29 will be there in a leap year you will get a 29 days remaining years you will have only a 28 days in the february okay one week in a one week how many days seven days are there okay in a one year how many months there are a 12 months in the year one day is equal to 24 hours 24 hours here the time plays a major role once a one 24 hours is gone 2.24 is gone next day, third, third 24 hours gone, third day. So this is a timing playing a major role to pushing up the days and pushing up the months and years. So how, this is how the time plays a major role in the days, weeks and uh, months of the months and years. Okay. Okay, next question. Which day of the week is always a holiday in a school? So what I've told you, we have a seven days, isn't it? We have a seven days working day. How many working days we have? We have I told you five working days and a two holidays, isn't it? What are the how many days you get a holiday in your school? Two days you will get a holidays. What are the day? Saturday and a Sunday. Saturday and a Sunday. Two day you will get a holiday. So two days, two days, isn't it? So. Two days we will get, but the options are given, not a Saturday they mentioned, but compulsory a Sunday will be always a holiday. Sometimes a Saturday will have a half a day school, isn't it? So they doesn't consider. So they given a Sunday as yes. a Sunday is a compulsory holiday for an every school. Okay. So how many months of a year have a 30 days? So it is very easy to find it out which months have a 30 days or which months have a 31 days. Well, by using the hands, isn't it children? Sunday, sorry, January, February, March, April. In a higher position, you get a 31 days. In a lower part, you will get a 30 days. So, see how many months of a year have a, only a 30 days. So, let's count it. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, uh, July, August, September, October, November, December, isn't it? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, isn't it? So six months, six months you have a thirty days, isn't it? Six months you have a thirty days. So, but the February, January, February. So February we have a thirty days. 
no in a february you doesn't have a 30 days so you should leave the one day so the five uh, months you have a 30 days so which is the ninth month of a year so just count the ninth month january february march april may june july august september so september is the ninth month of the year next dash comes after july so july after what is the july after before november before november so what is the month you will have after july june july august september october so these are the three months you will have a uh, after july so but what the question is after july but before november yes october is the right answer so before november october after july also the october will come after july so october is the correct answer october is a month which comes after july and uh, before november okay children so children you have to be very clear with the how many months in a year you have to be very clear with the spellings also and you are yeah, you should be very clear with the order also and you should be very clear with the days of the months also okay okay children okay let's see some more example on the next class pebbles cbse board syllabus